She said she will announce and she will say that so and so person will uh, welcome. Us. So, no, in between, if you are announcing, then who will go on the webinar? Who will go to the session to ask that? That's why she also confused now. It's, it would be nice if she welcomes only, it would be nice. Because I, uh, no, otherwise, also she can go. That's what, someone else is okay. So try and meet people, Ella. If only she has put somebody's name for that uh, person, Ella, for the If uh, I don't know what the word.
लेकिन और कौन डर हम लोग
I quote the words of Benjamin Disraeli, the secret of success in life is for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are elated to cordially welcome each of you to the solemn occasion of the valedictory service 2024 of our graduates of class 10 and second pre-university. We hope you enjoy this service and wish our graduating classes all success as they embark into a journey in a quest for success beyond the horizon. In a short while, the graduating students would walk into the arena. As parents, it is time to reflect on the accomplishments of your daughter, her challenges, and pursuit of her dream to attain her goal. As the 320 graduating students stride into the arena, their success and excellence has defined our alma mater. These young women are infused with their will to strive for academics and social excellence. Now, Mrs. Lumin Amalraj and Mrs. Daphne Jacinta Priya will step forward and read the names of the students of pre-university and standard 10th. Graduating students of second PUC, Uzefa Kausar, Kausar Khan, Taskin Musharraf, Mizba Sharif, Arshia Nida Darshini M, Pavani S, Faustina Mary, Shreen Archita Kamali, Kirtana Alishba, Al Hafsa Monica S. Sharoni Shrisha K. Monica S. Mahin Taj. Sarah Robert Sana Mariam. Shaklin Taj Akshaya. Fatima B. Shakti Darshanita. Umeza Imtiaz Atufa Sabahat. Falak Naz Kulsum. Mahira Afreen Farin Sabira. Asfiya Anjum Sufi Muskan, Rana Mariam Rida Fatima, Sadhana M. Nayana V, Tasmiya Muskan Trisha, Shreya Sujita, Mamata Solanki Adiba Nishad, Mehek Taj Sabha Kanum, Meera Jasmine Sumaya Kausar, Sufia Mariam Tanya Saba, Zoya Sharif Zainab Taha, Shri Nisha Dania Sharif, Anita Arfin Badar, Pavitra Madiha, Sharon Jennifer Iman Banu, Agnes Daphne Sherina, Dikshita Kinza Zabi, Nikita Sophia, Nurli Regan Khadija Ansar. Graduating batch of Standard 10, 2023-24. Madiha Firdos, Zoya Meherin, V. Vaishnavi, Saida Salva, Jemima Muhammad, Shakina Charis, Ume Hafsa, Madhumita S, Afia Khan, Rida Mariam, Raiza Fatima, Suraya Kausar, Dania Ahmad, Nasiba Afreen, Poojashri R, Fastina Jasmeta, Maglin Jenny, Ramya Shri V, Mercy Dania D, Sumulya A, Saheba Sajwa Sara. 
Azra Sultana Afra Begum, Anita J. Shanmugapriya, Swapna Ria Epshiba, Ashwini Sehrin Vajid, Nitesha Tasmiya Kanum, Bhavani Preeti, Kezia Soni Shiba Shirley, Zara Banu Neha, Arfa Rahman Nida Aksa, Nimra Banu Afsha Nida, Faika Sabrin Nafisa Fatma. Sanjana R. Hiba Fatima, Kulsum Fatima Raiza Zainab, Zoya Sharfa, Arbia Nurain, Nancy Priyanka, Dia S, Blessy Christina, Swati S, Amna Banu, Huraya Mifsala, Bibi Sadia, Rakshita G, Nurain, Sidra Mehreen, Mutaira Kureshi, Larika P, Ume Ayman, Mehek Fatima, Saima, Abisha Pansi. Sophia Jan, Ruth, Muskan Ashwini R, Malvina Vajiha Jasmine, Zainab John Roslyn Mary, Lubna Taj Navyashri, Pooja M. Mehak Kanum, Sania Rahman Ume Firdos, Zainab Shabnam Anjali Kumari, Swaliha Asgar Mufita Nisha, Priya Darshini Ikra, Tanushri Arbia. Anika Ambar, Misfeen Rufina, Saida Fiza Taskeen, Aksa Falak, Sharufa Suman, Kriti Krishnan, Janavi, Shaima Akila, Ume Arjuman, Shabnam Kanam, Anushka Shri, Aisha Siddika, Faiza Fatima, Sumera Kanam, Zara, Yamuna B, Divya Shri, Rida Seher, Evangeline A, Hamadi, Joyce, Ashwini J. Arbia F. Danalakshmi, Afra Khan Iman Kausar, Sheikh Zainab Shifa Kausar, Zoya Kausar Monika, Lavanya Aishwarya, Mary Agnes Musfira Anjum, Sharon Rose Mahi Khan, Musfira Fatima Angel, Evangeline Manna Vaishnavi, Sneha Renuka, Rina Maria Irteza Harmain. Vaishnavi A, Ankita N, Rashida M, Jessica Rose, Aishwarya, Hepsiba Janita, Rashida J, Sunanda R, Ifsa Naz, Alisha Sheikh, Ikra Naz, Salomi, Roshini S, Shreya R, Shweta, Ain Alisha, Tanya Banu, Ikra, Saida Sana, Tabasum Sharif, Danya Siddika, Alaina Fatima. Jennifer Asha P, Shruti Mujutaba, Huda Sultana Hajira, Blessi, Arshia Banu, Neha Aksa Anjum, Dikshia Bohara Rafia Ayman, Saida Ume Kulsum Alia N, Sada Fatima Swati, Shalu J. Nisha, Tasmiya Zainab B, Tasmiya Taj Mercy. Rimsha Ali Khan, Sana Banu, Ume Habiba, Tasmiya Kanam, Rimsha Ali Khan, Sana Banu, Tasmiya Taj, Mercy, Harmain Zuni, Shaheen Anjum, Shafak Fatima, Lia Pukisham, Purnima S, Arfa Fatima, 
Pooja Saundarya, Harshita G, Joanna Juliet, Anha Fatima, Arfa Naz, Hajira Harmain Taj, Asma Mahamadi, Shirley Sharon, Gracie Priya, Rukaya Khan, Shilpa Chetana. Amina Sadaf, Nathania Damita Prince, Sirangi Rajeshwari, Uma R, Mariam Ahmed, Mini G, Saumia D, Vasika Naz, Rumeza Noor, Afreen Kanum, Geetanjali Janet, Afreen Falak, Polur Smita George, Ume Amara, Arbin Falak, Juliet Rani, Joyce Anna, Mehak Kanum Muskan, Dali Veronica Maglin, Joyce Sindhu, Shazia Kausar Saral Monica, Ume Tasmia, the Vice President, and Tanya, the President of Pre University College. Amna Taj, Fatima Rida, Mahanur. Bibi Mariam, Saida Razika, Javeria Hayat Khan, Humaira Fatima, Noorain Hajira, Mary Andrea, Angita B, Kritika S, Catherine Paul, Yanvi Reddy, Hani Salfi, Varsha D, Pavani S, Sheikh Pool Mushrat Fatima, Harshini S, Elshiba P, Syed Kubra, Lydia David, Sylvia Karen, Zohara Fatima Kanam, Monisha M, Adaha Kulsum, Dania Ayman, Jessica W, Evangeline Slesa K, the captain of the school. Class teachers of Goodwill Puyu College, Mrs. Lumen Amelraj, Second Seba. Mrs. Selva Priya, second Becca, Mrs. Shalni Raj, second Peba, Mrs. Girija, second Hebba, Mrs. Esther Solomon, second PCMB and PCMC. Class teachers of 10th grade, Mrs. Helen Christie, standard 10A, Mrs. Pramila Jasmine, standard 10B, Mrs. Daphne Priya, standard 10C. The first step towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive of the environment in which you first find yourself. Dear students, I am sure you are proud of this auspicious moment and that you have studied in this venerable institution of 169 years. Rely on God always and he will grant you success. I request the girls to be seated.
Hmm? Students, please stand. The valedictory service of the Goodwill Girls High School and Pre-University College of the Graduating Batch 2023-2024. to 2024. May I request the audience to rise to your feet as we receive our esteemed guests for the evening. Our chief guest, Sri M.S. Sham Sundar, the presiding dignitary, the Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Borgai, Mrs. Prema Borgai, Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, Our esteemed guests for the evening. Mrs. Prema Borgai, Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel. Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, ushered by our principal, accompanied along with the officers of the diocese, board of management, other dignitaries, heads of institutions. The dignitaries are led by the guide girls of our school. The theme for today's valedictory service is a dawn of success beyond the horizon. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Psalm 18.2 We are anchored to the rock of ages, and when God is our strength in whom we trust, we are assured of his everlasting guidance and faithfulness. This is the theme of the school song adopted from the hymn, We Build Our School, authored by Sebastian Meyer. Please remain standing while the students intone the school song, We Build Our School on Thee, O Lord.
Please be seated. Consistent prayer releases the power of God's blessing on our lives and circumstances. It is right to surrender our prayer and petition with thanksgiving, for which I call upon Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Diocesan Secretary, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, to offer the opening prayer. Shall we look to God in prayer? Gracious God, the source of wisdom and knowledge, with hearts full of gratitude, sincere praise and adoration, we come before your throne of grace to thank you for the graduating class of 2024. We thank you for giving your daughters an opportunity through Goodwill's Girls High School and Pew College to enjoy new experiences, discover new truths, and develop new powers of body, mind, and spirit. We are grateful to you for enabling them to acquire wisdom and knowledge and be strong in spirit, and for preparing them to equip themselves to serve the generation. We also express our gratitude to you for the leadership of our Moderators Commissary, Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Borgai, Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Bishop Amma, Professor Esther Prasanna. We thank you for our diocesan officers, convener of the Diocesan Educational Committee, Dr. Lavanya Mitran, Principal, Mrs. Gnanamani Franklin, members of the Board of Management, members of the Diocesan Executive Committee, members of the Diocesan Education Committee, very specially dedicated faculty, staff, parents, caregivers, family and friends who have encouraged and supported the graduating class to pursue excellence. We invoke your blessings upon this graduating ceremony. Best of your special blessings on our chief guest, Sri M.S. Sham Sunda. Use your chosen servant as your channel of blessing to inspire, motivate, and encourage the graduating class. Make our time this evening very enriching, edifying, and enlightening. We ask these blessings in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for invoking God's blessing in our midst this evening. God will always prepare a way to accomplish His will each day. And whatever happens, wherever we go, His promise is sure, I know. These lines of the song is an honest expression and a profound sense of worship that God is the only person who will steer us through the sea of life. We now have a special rendition by our school choir, God Will Prepare a Way. The choir is trained by our choir conductor, Mr. Gladwin.
Thank you, choir, for that lovely rendition. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 100 and verse 5. God's word is relevant yesterday, today, and forever. We now have Dr. N. D. Solomon Raju, Treasurer, CSI KCD, who will read to us the word of God. Scripture portion. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 10 to 14. For thus says the Lord, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will visit you, and I will fulfill you to you my promise, and bring you back to this place, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. And I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord. And I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Here is the portion. Praise be to God. Thank you, sir. Dance is a basic, intrinsic, and natural way to bring glory to the God of creation. The extensive movements of your body while maintaining grace along with expressions and tempo is an opportunity to meet God in euphoric liturgy. We now have our high school students swaying in a classical dance to the wafting music of a Malayalam lyric.
I quote the words of Martin Luther King. Darkness cannot drive out darkness and only light can do it. And the Bible says, the Lord keeps our lamp burning and turns our darkness into light. So, when we invoke God's presence, it eliminates the darkness within and illuminates it. We now have the traditional lighting of the lamp and we are honored to invite our esteemed chief guest, Sri M.S. Sham Sundar, Senior Advocate, Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Secretary of the Diocese, Dr. N.D. Solomon Raju, Treasurer of the KCD, Reverend E. George Jayaprabhu, Associate Treasurer, KCD, Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, Convener of the Education Committee, Reverend Y. Justin, Civil Area Chairman, Mr. Chalaturai, our Treasurer, and our Principal to kindle the flame of enlightenment and officially inaugurate our event. As the lamp is lit, may its radiance touch each one of you, kindling in you the immortal flame of knowledge and understanding. Dignitaries, kindly step forward for the lighting of the lamp. for kindling the flame which will be a beacon to our young graduates on their path in the pursuit of success. A charismatic person is one who is resilient with garner credibility and a great visionary leader who exhibits humility and empowers others. I now call upon our principal, Mrs. Nyanamani Franklin, to welcome the gathering and introduce our guests for the day.
Every sunrise is a magnum opus. Every sunrise holds more promise and a million miracles begin at sunrise. Good evening. It gives me an immense pleasure to warmly welcome our chief guest, Sri M. S. Shamsundar, Senior Advocate, Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, dignitaries, parents, well-wishers, and the graduating class of 2023-2024. Your graduation, graduation today is not the end, but a launching point propelling you into the future to achieve your goals beyond the horizon. Congratulations to all the graduating students. We are delighted to have in our midst Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel and Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna. We warmly welcome you and thank you for your presence. I call upon Mr. Jay Kumar, the Executive Committee member and a board member and Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, convener of the Education Committee and a board member to kindly step forward to honor our Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel and Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna. Thank you, Mr. Jay Kumar and Mrs. Lavanya, Dr. Lavanya Mitrin. <clears throat> we, have in, we have been greatly favored to have in our midst Sri M. S. Shamsundar as our chief guest for the day. He is a senior advocate, jurist, author, and the noted panelist. Mr. M. Shamsundar, through a legacy of former Chitraduga, Sholinganur ruler family was raised in a humble migrated family. He did his initial graduation studies at National College of Gauri Bindanur, a border to town which was exposed to commotion and faction ridden natural influence and dressed from the neighboring sensitive areas of Anantpur district. By the ins insistence of his father, he later joined a five-year integrated course at ULC Bangalore. After graduation, he joined LLM under the able guidance of Professor Kutino and he was the first LLM passed out for constitutional law. He began his practice as a lawyer in Bangalore in 1997. Alongside his practice, he joined a guest faculty at University Law College Bangalore and served as faculty member in several, several other colleges of Bangalore. He was deeply influenced by the teaching style of Professor Kutino. While in the courtroom, he did not restrict him to himself to be a junior for particular senior and consider the senior members at the bar uh, as his own seniors and learnt amply from them. Though he handled matters of all areas of law, due to several sensational criminal cases which he handled, he was identified more on criminal law side, which he later demystified with great efforts and gained to be an all-rounder lawman. He has, to his account, several works of literature, spokesmanship, and accolades from various dignified institutions. In the path of his professional life, he began from a small office at Seshatripuram and later developed into bigger offices with a larger collegium. He has served from poor to mighty in hundreds of cases and he has served the case of law and justice by being a part of hundreds of reported judgment and state service as special public prosecutor. Appreciating his service and standing, 
the honorable high court of karnataka designated him as senior advocate on 24th may 2022 and he assists the members of bar across all the courts including supreme court of india we are indeed honored to welcome our chief guest sri m s shamsundar in our midst we welcome you sir i request our treasurer mr chelladurai to to honor our uh, chief guest today I extend a warm welcome and acknowledge the presence of the officers of the diocese who supported and encouraged us in all our ventures. We welcome Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, the diocesan secretary, CSA KCD. He is also the presbyter in charge of St. Mark's Cathedral. We thank you for invoking God's blessing. Welcome, you are here. we have with us dr md salman raju treasurer of the csa kcd and chairman of the education committee of kcd in our midst this evening we welcome you sir We welcome the convener of education committee, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, Principal Bishop Gordon Girls School, who has been a pillar of strength and has always stepped forward to help us during our times of distress and venture. We welcome you, ma'am. We welcome in this in in our midst this evening, Reverend Y. Justin, the Civil Area Chairman. He is also our board member and presbyter in charge of the Bethel Church Banaswadi. We welcome you, Aya. We warmly welcome the board of management of Goodwill Girls High School and Composite PU College who have selflessly contributed their time and services for the betterment of our institution. Reverend Yana Kumar, presbyter in charge of Wesley Church, Mr. Chelladurai, our treasurer, Mr. Jay Kumar, executive committee member of the CSA KCD as well as our board member, Mr. J Melvin, Melvin, Mr. Khadiravan, our parents representative. I request you to kindly raise your feet. Our teachers will come and honor you, all our board members. Mr. Johnson Kishore. Thank <laughs> you. 
We have in our midst the executive committee members of the KCD. We warmly welcome you and thank you for being a part of this program. I kindly request you to raise so that our staff will corner you. In executive committee members, Mr. George Mogan. Thank you, sir. We are grateful to the members of the Education Committee for your presence. Education Committee members. We welcome Reverend Paul Tanasigaran, Vice Chairman and Presbyter in Charge of Memorial Church. Vice Chairman of Bishop Gordon Boy School and Presbyter in Charge of Memorial Church. We welcome you, Aya. We welcome Reverend Theodore, Prisper in charge of Charles in Church. We welcome you, Aya. Kindly raise the staff welcome. We warmly acknowledge the presence of a former principal in our midst, Ms. Samson, Mrs. Megala. The principal of Methodist School. We are greatly honored to have the heads of institution, the principal of the KCD institution in our midst, Dr. Alvin Rajin, principal Cathedral, Cathedral High School, Mrs. Angelina Wilson, principal of the St. John's High School, Dr. Amita, Principal of the United Mission Degree College. <laughs> Professor Dr. Indrani, Principal of Bishop Cotton Law College for Women. <laughs> Professor Kazel Lena George, Principal in Charge of Goodwill Christian College for Women. Mrs. Bula, Principal of Mitralia Girls High School. Mrs. Monica, Principal of United Mission School. Mrs. Vasanthi Saduri, Principal Arpana CSA School for Special Education. We also acknowledge the presence of the treasurer of KCD institution, Mr. Vinod Dasham, Bishop Cotton Girls School treasurer, Mr. Dinesh, St. John's High School treasurer, Mr. Vullas, Methodist Mission School High School um, treasurer, Thank you, teachers. We have our retired teachers who have served this institution in our midst this evening. We acknowledge your presence. Thank you. We also cordially welcome our proud parents and well-wishers who have come here to grace their daughter's occasion, uh, graduation. And I also welcome the pretty and charming graduating students of the year 2023-2024. Dear graduating students of 2023-2024 batch. Graduation is a process that goes on 
till the last day of your life. As individual, you are starting a new phase in life beyond your horizon. As you leave the secure portal of this institution and as you stand on the threshold of your life with a sense of excitement and moving forward into your future to achieve your goals, you may face uncertainties, nervousness and fear. But remember that goodwills has equipped you with courage to dare, the knowledge to ex excel and to elevate each of you with values of integrity. So drawing strength from these qualities, focus on your goals with commitment and hard working, bending to nothing but persevering to, end, to the end, holding on our motto, arise, learn, serve and be steadfast and placing your confidence in God, then you will reach greater heights and achieve success, making a mark in all your endeavors. And as I close, I leave this verse for you, for each of you, from Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper, prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. So, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Be bold, be courageous and be your best. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your warmth and exuberance. God will provide his children what they need. He is a God who keeps, guards, and protects us. We now have a special rendition by our school choir. He will keep you. you choir for that beautiful rendition. Let every dawn be to you as the beginning of life and every setting sun be to you as its close. 
Graduation is a recollection of happy times of fond memories. It's now time for both Evangeline Slesser, the school captain, and Tanya, the pre-university president, to bid adieu to their alma mater. Graduation, it's an exciting time. It's the warm memories of the past and big dreams for future. A very good evening to our chief guest, Sri M. Sham Sundar, presiding dignitary, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, esteemed dignitaries, well-wishers, respected principal, teachers, parents, and my fellow graduates. I. K. Evangeline Slesser, the captain of the school, stand on this momentous day, feel elated and privileged to deliver the valedictory speech on behalf of the graduating batch 2023 to 24. At the outset, I thank God Almighty for his divine grace, guidance, and enlightenment, which has helped us out to accomplish this big milestone in our lives. Alma mater, where dreams take flight, will forever hold you tight. As I stand on this auspicious day, my heart is filled with gratitude for the incredible journey that I have shared here with my school. In the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. This 169-year-old institution has armed us with this weapon by teaching us the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. It has taught us to have faith in our ideas and to believe in ourselves. It has taught us to be gentle with the gentle and tough enough to step into the real world. Today, we stand at the threshold of a future filled with endless possibilities, equipped with knowledge and experience during our academic tour. As I bid farewell, I remember the halls that echoed with laughter, and the classroom that witnessed our growth, and the playground that fostered our comradeship. My school Goodwills has been more than a place of learning. It has been a home where our dreams were nurtured. I am immensely proud to be a Goodwillian. The experience, education, and values imparted during my time here has shaped me in profound ways. And I now carry the pride of being a part of this esteemed institution with me as I move forward. Thank you, dear school, for shaping us into the individuals who we are today. The journey doesn't end here. It's a new chapter. We carry the spirit of our school with us, focusing on our school motto, arise, learn, serve, and be steadfast. We are ready to reach heights and make our alma mater proud. At this moment, I also express my deepest thanks to our principal, who has been the captain of our ship, steering with wisdom, dedication, and unwavering support. She has been the driving force behind the success of our institution. With her visionary approach towards education, she has changed our school into a hub of innovation and academic excellence. Ma'am, I must acknowledge that these lessons of life that we have learned from you would help us to climb the ladder of success while being humble and modest at the same time. Teachers are like a burning candle who burns and melts themselves to light and ignite the life of students. How can I not express my gratitude to all my teachers who have made an incredible impact in our lives? They have been the guiding lights, imparting knowledge and sculpting our character. We are thankful for their dedication, care, and resolute support. You are the spark, the inspiration, the guide, the candle to our lives. Words cannot express the influence that you have had on us as mothers, mentors, friend, and as a role model. 
We, your students, will always look up to you because you have been an influence which cannot be erased. It is you who have grown the seedling into a sapling. Through your teaching, you have made this world a better place for all of us. May I request everyone to give a big round of applause to our respect principal and all our teachers. At this moment, I also extend my heartfelt thanks to all the supporting staff who have worked behind the screen and provided us with the best resources and facilities. Parents, give us the root to grow and the wings to pl fly. We are filled with gratefulness as we celebrate our graduation today. And we owe it all to our amazing parents out there. Your endless support and sacrifice has been the foundation for our success. Your belief in us has fueled our determination. Thank you, moms and dads, for giving us the best life. A life without friendship is like a ship without a sea. Friendship at school is like a treasure chest of joy, unlocking the memories that we'll forever enjoy. Together, we've laughed, learned, and grown. The memories that I share with you all holds a special place in my heart. Dear friends, the day when we enter the school premises, a toddler is still fresh and new in my mind. We started this voyage by holding our hands together, and here we are at its end, still holding each other's hands. While I recall these memories, I can't resist sharing those mischievous acts that we have done in our school. Those petty fights and patch-ups, silly jokes cracked, celebration of the Friendship Day, cheering our teams during competition and sharing food during lunch break are the, mess, are the best memories. The excitement of all these moments shared are just priceless. Let's carry the lessons what we have learned and the friendship that forged into the future. Now it's our time to venture into the new world and change the world. It's time to say goodbye. But I think goodbye is a sad, and I much rather say hello. Hello to a new adventure. I would like to quote the words of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Accept your past without regret. Handle your present with confidence, and face your future without fear. Look back with a smile, and go forward with courage, because you are the leader of your own story. If you want to shine like the sun, then first burn like the sun. As we bid adieu, let gratitude be our guide for the times we've laughed and the tears we tried. So here's to the memories, both joyous and tough. As I conclude, I would like to quote from Isaiah 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Class of 2024, we have conquered. Today will soon be a memory. So be present and relish every second of it. Hats off to you graduates. Congratulations and best wishes to you all as you embark on your new adventure. The tassel was worth the hassle. Thank you. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake up to say goodbye by John Denver. A very good evening to our esteemed chief guest, Sri M. S. Shyam Sundar, the presiding dignitary, Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel. I also extend my warm welcome to all our dignitaries, respected principal, beloved lecturers, teachers, well wishes, dear parents, and the graduating batch of 2023-24. I, Tanya, the president of pre-university, consider this a special occasion 
as I thank the entire institution for nurturing me from the first day I entered as a toddler to UKG with so much of love and care till my second pre-university. The teachers have worked so hard, educated me and transformed me from a childish, immature individual to a sensible and mature young lady. Today marks a major milestone in our life as we stand on the brink of a new beginning, a beginning filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. We have spent countless hours days and years in the pursuit of growth and knowledge and today we celebrate the culmination of our efforts at the Goodwill Girls Composite Pre-University College. Two years ago we came with dreams and aspirations and today we are leaving with even bigger ambitions. All of us entered with different backgrounds and stepping out as proud students with a common goal to be successful. We are leaving the comfortable zone of our institution and gearing up to enter the next phase of our life with passion, perseverance and dedication to make our dreams come true, holding on to our vision and motto of our institution. Arise learn, serve and be steadfast as we stand on the threshold of our future. Let us carry these words with us as a promise to rise above adversity, to never cease learning, to serve our communities and our world and to remain steadfast in the pursuit of excellence. I thank God as he has been there in every step of our way. And we also praise him for giving us a wonderful, caring and a loving principal who has been a visionary leader, a pillar of strength and a source of wisdom that has guided us through the corridor of learning. A million thanks to you, ma'am, for nurturing us with all your love and prayers. Our sincere thanks to all our amazing lecturers and teachers for grooming and molding us for better life. The guidance from them have been invaluable for growth and success. The teachers who have shared their knowledge, wisdom and experiences with us, your impact reaches far beyond the classroom. And now, to our parents, it is the result of your hard work and the values that you have instilled in us that today we have successfully completed our graduation. And the credit for it goes to all our parents seated out here. Last but not the least, the journey would have never been completed without you, my dear friends, as we part ways I'm filled with deep appreciation for the memories we have created together and the bond that will forever connect us as the alumni of Goodwill Girls Composite Pre-University College. I conclude with the timeless words of Kerry Washington. Your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Congratulations, graduates of 2023-24. Go forth and make your mark on the world. I would like to give a gist of my speech through these quotes. I believed I could, so I did. There's no need to try to fit in when you were born to stand out. Life has no remote. Get up and change it yourself. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Evangeline and Tanya, for sharing your heartwarming speech. And we are sure that both of you will make us proud, bring glory to God, and honor to this institution. God bless you. I acknowledge the presence of Reverend Christy Nyanadas, Presbyter in charge of St. Paul's Church. We welcome you, sir. A 
a daughter is a most beautiful blessing from God, who brightens each and every day. It's the love that nurtures parents, the kindness that comforts them, and the success and empowerment that strengthens them. And that makes each parent proud of them. I now invite Mr. K. Kadiravan, father of a school captain, Evangeline Slesser, and also a board member, to kindly step forward and reflect his feelings on this momentous occasion. The only impossible journey is the one you never begin, said Tony Robbins. A very good evening to our chief guest, Sam Sundar, Right Reverend Samuel Prasanna Kumar Bishop, members of the Board of Management, dignitaries present here, respected principal, teachers, parents, and all our graduating students. It is indeed a great honor to be, to be speaking on this special day of our daughter's graduation. Today, as I speak, I go down to my memory line when my daughter joined the Goodwill family as a toddler in LKG. It seems like yesterday we were helping them to tie their shoes and now find ourselves applauding for their achievements as they embark on a new journey. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest gratitude for their valuable experience and education of our children received from this esteemed institution. Goodwill Girls High School has not been an educational institute, but been a second home to our children by creating an enriching and nurturing environment where our child can grow academically and personally. The entire Goodwill family, to the entire Goodwill family, our heartfelt appreciation for the best education and support given to our children. Teachers, it is your dedication which made a lasting impact on their growth and learning. At this moment, I am very thankful to all the teachers right from LKG to class 10 for their teaching and guidance. You have handled them very well with a blend of strictness, love, care, and compassion. We appreciate the extra mile you have taken to ensure our child's success and countless hours spent on their education. Your influence extends beyond the classroom. We are thankful for their positive role played in their life. I also extend my special thanks to our principal Mrs. Gnanamani Franklin for being a pillar of inspiration and support to all our children. The pride that fills the parents' heart when they watch their child getting graduate is inexpressible. It's a great moment where all the sacrifices, late nights, tears become worthy. Today I see the results of the prayer walk that I have did for this institution five years back. Children, we, your parents, are immensely proud of your journey that we have undertaken and we are eagerly await the remarkable that lies ahead. As you all step into the next phase of your life, know that you carry our love and support. 
cherish the memories that you have created here. Learn from every experience and embrace the opportunity that wait for you. As I conclude, I like to quote from Joshua 1.9, Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Congratulations, graduates. May, may your future be filled with success. We are immensely proud to be your parents and cannot wait to see the extraordinary paths that you will carve in the world. Best wishes to you all as you venture into the new world. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. A dedicated and passionate teacher remains a cornerstone in a student's educational journey and self-realization and who burns out like a candle to light the way for his or her students. We now have our teachers wishing the graduating students that God, our Master and Savior's love for them is ineffable and that he will crown each of them with new beginnings.
Thank you teachers for wishing them new beginnings in all their endeavors as they embark on this new journey of success. We have in our midst Mr. Dinesh, treasurer of St. John's High School. We welcome you, sir. We have in our midst Mr. Samson, Treasurer of Goodwill Christian College for Women. Success is the small sum of small efforts repeated, said or earlier. We are honored and privileged to have in our midst. Shri M. S. Sham Sundar, who is an eminent senior attorney who has made a mark in the legitimate field. He is also a well known jurist and who has penned many licit papers. We now invite you, sir, to kindly step forward and address our young graduates. Most worshipful Bishopaya, <coughs> Bishopama, Principal Nanamani Madam, Reverend Vinod Kumar Ji, Dr. Solomon Rajuji, Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, and I do want to take the names of all, but uh, Whatever the names I could write down, I have recollected. All the dignitaries present here, parents who have been responsible mostly for us to have this great day, my dear students who are graduating today, friends, and all those who are present here and who are watching this spectacular event. <clears throat> I've been sufficiently introduced and I am a senior lawyer. Generally lawyers we are paid as we talk. Talking in fact it's a passion for everyone. Human being can't keep quiet. He likes to talk, 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 and talk. But I am in one such fortunate profession where I get my satisfaction that I talk and I also get paid for I talk. <clears throat> and after spending more than two and a half decades in this profession, I sometimes have felt I do even get paid when I talk even useless things, <laughs> irresponsible things, <laughs> not every time the sense. When I came here first, when I was received, I saw Bishapaya. I've been one of the fortunate parents who had the privilege of his children being educated in cottons. I've been seeing Bishapaya for a long time. And when I saw him, I got a bit nervous because I know his vocabulary. I have many opportunities to hear his English. Any learned person, for that any man, he gets nervous when he looks at people who are more learned, who can deliver better than him, who can talk better than him. 
So I thought somehow I was sitting there and planning to overcome Bishapaya, Bishapaya's fear. I should outgrow that today and I have to talk something. But when I heard Evangeline and when I heard Tanya, I just couldn't come out of the jolt which I sustained. The flawless rendition, the flawless delivery of Evangeline, the flawless delivery of Tanya put me to a lot of fear and I wish one day they are not going to come into legal profession because they will take away a lot of clients from us if they are ever going to come. Particularly when I was watching Evangeline, it's very difficult to speak when we are emotionally ridden. We can talk when we, when we are normal, we can talk anything and everything. When Evangeline was speaking, I could see the grief in her face that she is living something today. She is going away from so many of her friends, so many of her teachers, the ambience of this school, the environment here, the joyous moments she must have had here, suppressing all that grief, all that sorrow, she was still able to deliver and complete her complete speech, which I could not have delivered even with the assistance of a teleprompter. And if I ever had, if I ever had a chance to seek for another boon from the God, I would say, please bless me with the accent of Tanya. Her accent was so beautiful, both were so flawless. We always keep waiting that human beings are, you know, we are always curious, we always get a lot of joy to see errors, to see commotion. If somebody is standing there and preaching, we don't pay attention, but, but two are standing there somewhere and fighting, all of us gang up and see because disturbance, negative things, commotions always entertain us. I was waiting, would they at least forget something? Even if you give me 10 days in isolation, make me mug up the speech of Tanya and Evangeline, I don't think I would be able to do it so well. Now, do I call Evangeline or Tanya great? Maybe, but I don't say that. I would say, when a beautiful, well-grown, nicely flowering plant is looked at, it shows us, not just the plant by itself, but it shows us the work behind it, the one who has nurtured it. So Evangeline and Evangeline like girls, Tanya and Tanya like girls, are the speaking proofs of the, what this institution has produced. They are the testimony of what this institution is. They are the testimony of what the teachers here are. We always are so amused about international schools, convents, Canadian, American, so and so, so and so, so and so. But I take a challenge that none of them can beat the students who are being educated in these convents which has such ancient history to it and more than a history, such long-drawn dedication in service of education. It's a honor for me to be here. I have attended many functions, I have spoken on many stages. But as I told, in many places you can be irresponsible. When you're talking, you can go on talking anything and everything, whatever you get it on the tip of your tongues, in between your lips, but when I see the ambience and the discipline here, something inside us tells us to be more responsible. I have had the occasion and the privileges of sharing dias, but today I am having a blessing of standing amid golden and silver angels. 
generally we keep waiting one day one angel will come but today I have had the privilege of almost 139 angels on one side and 181 angels on the other side. What else could be a greater privilege, a greater blessing? <clears throat> when we are called as guests, a chief guest, a sp spokesperson, we have to say certain things. All that I would say is to my students on either of the sides, on both the laterals of this magnificent dais. Today you are celebrating a graduation. What is graduation? Graduation means something that happens over a period of time. Anything that happens suddenly is of no consequence. It's innocuous. It's insignificant. So till when you are graduating? You are graduating till the end. Learning is a never-ending process. Today you are graduating from 10 but you are going to get into another graduation module. As long as you want to learn, you keep graduating and you keep growing yourself. The day you stop learning, you feel that no, you are done, you are going to do, you must feel that you are going to do something wrong because you can never stop the process of learning. In school you learn, in life you learn, till the end you keep learning. All that I want to tell is to my dearest students who are graduating today, save the time. You, you must have heard save water, save money, save resources, save environment, etc, etc, etc. There are so many, you know, uh, uh, moments happening for saving water, etc, etc. But a moment should begin that we all should learn to save time. Why time is so important? The time is so important because a time is something which we give to our own selves. A minute we lose, an hour we lose is something which we lose it forever, which you will never get back in your life. Even if a human being lives for hundred long years, which is a maximum age of a human being, you live for 36,000 days. Let's just demystify this. Out of this 36,000 days, I am talking about the maximum, hundred years. Out of this 36,000 days, you spend about 10,000 days, or at least some 5,000 days in your adolescence, in your in your primary life where you don't know, you, don't, you can't understand so many things. At least another 10,000 days will, will go in your old age, you, so you lose 15,000. You spend another 5,000 days learning, I am talking about 100, 100 years completely if you live. So if you are learning in school, all these things, you lose another 5,000 days, so you remain, you lost 20,000 days, you remain with another 16 or 15,000 days. In this 15,000 days you lose in your sleep or in your unconscious state 10,000 days. So in the leftover 5,000 days, a maximum 6 or 7,000 days, you work for yourself, you live to earn. So you lose another 3 or 4,000 days in earning your livelihood. So when do you live your life? You live hardly one or two thousand days, even if you live complete hundred years. So now you know the value of time. Every hour, every minute you live is most valuable. You are not going to lose henceforth. You are not going to waste time. Make use of every moment you live for a better purpose and I would like to just tell you a small story. There was a woodchuck who used to live by going to the forest, fetching some firewood and making his life. He was a great theist. Always he prayed God. In whatever he did, he prayed God. He used to be praying God every time, even as he was working or whatever he was doing. 
One fine day he went to the forest. He climbed on a tree with ass and started cutting the branches to collect his firewood. As he was doing his work, he was praying God. When he was on the tree, he saw one crippled fox crawling and coming there. He looked at the fox and he said, how is this fox living? It can't run, it can't stand on its own, it can't do anything, it can't hunt its food, but still it's living. So mighty, so virtuous the God is. The God is taking care of even a crippled fox which can't do anything to earn its own food. But I pray to God so much. I pray to God so much. I really have to see how this fox is living, how God is taking care of it. After some time he heard the roar of a tiger and he immediately climbed and he was waiting and he was looking. The tiger came with a hunt in its mouth. It sat there, it ate, it left the food after it was full and went away. Tigers are like that. It will eat whatever it wants and it never stores and it, it left the food and went away. The leftover food of the tiger, the fox crawled, ate. Then this Uchek felt, so glorious the God is, so virtuous the God is, the God is so powerful, it, God can see everybody, God can see every creature on the earth and God is taking care of everyone, even a crippled fox. But I pray God every moment of my life. God takes care of everybody. Why should I do even this work of cutting, coming to the forest, cutting wood, taking it to the market, selling it, and etc., etc. Even if I sit simply in a church, always praying God, I still will be taken care of. He throws his axe, comes back, sits inside a church and starts praying, 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 thinking that the God will come. One day, nothing happened. He got no food, no water. Second day, nothing happened. He got no food, no water. Third day, fourth day, as he was praying, he went on getting furious. What is this? Why God is not coming to take care of me? I've been praying so much, it could take care of the crippled fox. Why the God is not coming? Then he started now throwing challenges at the God in an extreme fury and anger. You must come. We have seen different types of prayer. Some of us pray very humbly and some of us call God very vigorously. Some of us demand God, please come. Please come and you must bless us. So this man went to a different level and started virtually terrorizing the God. You must come now otherwise I'll die. I'll, I'll give my life away. Finally God saw and incarnated in front of him, tell me what is that? None other than the God was in front of him. But he was so furious, he started confronting the God. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Wait, cool down. The God said, cool down. Be peaceful. Now first eat something, drink some water. Cool down. He ate, he drank some water. And still he was in his great fury and he asked, why didn't you not come? How can you neglect me for four to five days? And the crippled fox was not neglected. And God asked, now tell me, why did you take this decision of quitting your work, quitting your regular routine, quitting your life, and coming and standing, sitting inside the church and only getting into the prayers and calling me? Why did you take this decision? Then he saw, he told to the God that, what I saw. And that's the reason I am here. God smiled at him and said, look, whatever you saw was the right scene. But... From where you learnt was the wrong choice. You should have learnt from the tiger, not from the fox. Tiger, what did it do? It did catch its food. It put its efforts. It came. It majestically ate its food. Left for others and went. You should have learnt from the tiger, not from the fox. In life, my dear friends, we keep seeing so many things. No two, two humans perceives the same thing. Everyone have their own perception when they look at something. Everyone have their own thought process. But what we learn, from where we learn, what has to be learnt is something which 
we have to be guided with. Without guidance, nothing is possible. In an unknown terrain, when you switch on the GPS, a voice of a lady starts guiding you, go left, go straight, go left, and you reach your destination. So, guiding is always required, and what is this guiding all about? Guiding is none other than a teacher, a glorious teacher. So, never feel yourself complete, never feel yourself full, never feel yourself, you know everything and you have learnt everything and you have achieved everything. There is a day still left to achieve something more. Till 52 years of his age, the Prime Minister, present Prime Minister, was not anything significant. He was nothing. He, was, he carried no significance in his life. At 52nd year of his age, he became the Chief Minister. So everyone has a good day and every day left over can get you still greater things. Therefore, my humble request to all of you that not today you are completing something, today you are going to begin something new. My request is to you is always, please remember your past, your teachers, your parents who have brought you to this level and please remember your present, where you have to be, where you will have to nurture yourself. Please keep in mind in your future with a perfect fixed goal what you have to be. Once your goals are set, you will be made a walk through. You need not to wait for something. Once you have learnt what you have to learn, the next stage opens up automatically. For the next stage to open, you have to complete the previous stage. So don't leave any undone areas and uh, I am hopeful that uh, all of you have had great time in this school. Cherish the memories, forget any painful things that must have happened to you in your school life. Remember only nice things, good things. Our teachers used to rule the rulers on our knuckles. At least you all have this kind of lovely environment, a nice uh, Farewell. We never had this. You know, in fact, we all studied in uh, government schools. We, we hardly had even desks. So we sat on the floor and we studied. When we left the schools, uh, there was hardly anyone to bid uh, an emotional farewell to us. <laughs> At last, you are getting out of the school. Go. <laughs> this was what our state. So you are all blessed. You are all so privileged. Uh, carry this legacy. Never forget your school, never forget your past. Always be prepared for anything in your life. I am sure this institution has crafted you so well and you are going to be one of the greatest citizens of this country. And I wish you all a great future and a great learning always ahead of you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir, for your positive words of encouragement to our outgoing students. Barbara Colrose has said, the beauty of empowering others is that your own power is not diminished in the process. You have inspired us indeed. It's my pleasure to acknowledge the presence of our moderator's commissary. We are immensely privileged and honored to have in our midst Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Borgai, Bishop Karnataka Northern Diocese and Moderators Commissary CSI KCD. We welcome you, sir, to grace the occasion and make it a memorable event. It is also a pleasure to invite Mrs. Prema Borgai this evening. We welcome you, ma'am.
I also acknowledge the presence of Dr. Praveen, Principal of Bishop Cotton Academy, Elenka. We welcome you in our midst, sir. Saying goodbye is never easy. The memories of our journeys never leave the mind and the bonds we share will forever be cherished. So on this note, we have Nathania Damita Prince of the Pre-University, Evangeline Slesser, Jessica Rose, Jessica W. and Salome of Standard 10 performing a little number entitled Our Farewell Song.
Thank you, students, for that special number. I quote the words of Dwight D. Eisenhower, the supreme quality of leadership is unquestionable integrity. I deem it a great pleasure to invite on stage Bishop Wright Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel to greet our graduates and pronounce God's blessing for our students and everyone present here. Respected Moderators Commissary, the Right Reverend Martin C. Borgai, Mrs. Uh, Prema Borgai, my dear friend and advocate, Sham Sundar, officers of the diocese, here a chairperson, heads of institution, members of the activity committee, parents, well wishers, faculty, the teachers, the support staff, the principal, and all the others who are gathered here this evening. I bring greetings. You have grown big, you have grown tall. The very fact the captain and the leader was able to speak up so fluently without flaw, I was able to really appreciate the teaching fraternity, the way that you were able to train these young girls to be leaders of this country and the world in the future. To advocate uh, Shamsundar, you are a senior advocate and you are a great personality in the city of Bangalore and elsewhere. It is because you are grounded. You are not high and mighty, but you are humble enough to pick up these young girls' statements and you were able to bring about the story. Even in your high court arguments, I used to see you making those little stories for the judges and the others to understand where exactly you are doing. And I'm so happy and proud that uh, I was able to share the stage with you this evening. To tell my background to Mr. Shamsundar, when I started my primary education, the fee that I paid was 25 Naya Paisa. From there, with God's grace, my parents' prayers and their guidance, and my perseverance and hard work has brought me to this level. So nowhere in the world you should be able to say, I do not have the facility or I do not have the skills, I do not have anything. No, you have always to be successful because your theme this evening is a very important theme by saying, at dawn of success beyond the horizon. A beautiful theme for the young, as it was mentioned, golden girls and silver girls. You have a beautiful theme as you part out of the portals of this institution. They are simply saying, the success has begun in you. The way that your captains were able to speak up, we are able to understand the dawn of success. And it has begun with this batch of 2024. And the, it has begun. And the horizon, as you might understand, it is the image or the limits of somebody's interest. As it was mentioned, many might become teachers, lawyers, medical professionals, engineers, technology, and you know, various other way you might go. But at the same time, you begin here, and you are going to be successful beyond the horizon. Life is full of uh, mysteries waiting to be revealed. It is limitless. It is continually expanding as you embrace it. Do not take lazy ways. Do not be in a position to postpone decisions. If you want to be successful, God is always guiding you there. So the road to success does not happen overnight. It is hard work, hard work and hard work. I'm sure the 10th standard exams and the PUs exams are going to begin now. 
and you know you're going to burn the midnight oil and of course your parents and the teachers have given you enough and more. But you know, at the same time, if you want to be successful in your future, hard work becomes the primary goal. And you know, whether they are large or small, your everyday actions, activities and uh, encounters ultimately determine your success. Success cannot be bought. It has to be worked out. It has to be achieved. And you know, what success actually requires is belief in yourself. You believe yourself that I need to go into that place. That belief has to be cherished. And your captain very beautifully said, seedling to sapling. From sapling to become a plant, and from plant to become a tree, and to bear fruit, is going to be a number of years ahead of you. And you have just become saplings now, and we are sending you into the world, hoping and trusting you that you will be able to open up doors of success, and in the way that God wants you to bless you. So success requires belief in yourself, a faithful heart, and a focused mindset. These days are days where you want to climb the ladder of success with a lot of distractions. But my dear young girls, if you are going to focus yourself as to what you want to become, that is where you are going to tap the doors of your success. Success requires faithful hearts. Have a positive attitude. Maintain that positive attitude. Be courteous. Be professional. Be respectful. And God will elevate you. Success is not much a goal. It is not I am going to achieve that goal to become successful. It is a journey. As you journey along, God gives you the success. And that's where the importance of God comes, even from the chief guest address this evening. Success is not so much a goal, but it is a journey. Success is when you and I are doing what God has called you to do. My dear young girls, in all these things that you know, in all your achievements, in all your successes, God has a place. Your parents have a place. Your teachers, your mentors, your caregivers, everybody has a place and you need to respect that. Just because you achieved, just because you get 10% uh, in the results, doesn't mean to say that you can forget your parents. You can forget your alma mater. You have to have that intertwining of all these elements in your life so that you can be successful. When you and I are doing what God has called us to do, then we'll be successful. So success is not what we have or even what we accomplish, but success is carry out God's plan in each of your lives. God has a plan for you. In the Bible it says, God has carved you in the palm of his hands. So everybody has a future. You should never mind saying that, I don't believe in God. You have to say, God is there and his grace is there and his blessings are there for us to live in this world. Lastly, as you embark into the new venture, as you are going to be successful, always be mindful of those unfortunate ones. It is not only you climb the ladder, but when you look down, the people who held the ladder for you to climb up, that is where all the others come in. So it is not that as an individual you climb up being very successful, maybe a businessman, a businesswoman, or maybe a great personality, maybe a politician, maybe an advocate, or maybe somebody else, but at the same time, from your higher ups, when you look down, there are people who motivated you, people who encouraged you, and God who is able to be with you so that you will be able to say, I have my own plans, and those plans have to be attested by God, and thereby God's plan will ultimately be successful. A dawn of success beyond the horizon. May God bless you, young girls. You have a bright future. And as all of us understand, India is looking forward for you to enter into the great arena so that you'll be successful wherever you go. 
because this institution has taught you discipline, decorum, faithfulness, sincerity in all that you do so that you will be great citizens of this country, great entrepreneurs who will be able to turn out and to make a milestone for you and for the community at large. God bless you and give you all the blessings and thank you for inviting me to be part of your great celebrations this evening. Thank you, Bishop, for your motivational and significant words of inspiration to our students. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verses 1 and 2, I urge them, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people. Intercessory prayer is the most unselfish and loving act we can offer to others, said T.D. Jakes. I now call upon Reverend Vincent Vinod Kumar, Diocesan Secretary, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, and Presbyter in charge of St. Mark's Cathedral to offer the intercessory prayer. I request the students to stand Shall we intercede for each bidding? I request the audience to respond. We give you thanks, O Lord. Your response shall be, we give you thanks, O Lord. Shall we look to God in prayer? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the manifold blessings showered upon our institution, Goodwill, Girls High School and Composite Pre-University College over the years. We acknowledge that you are the giver of all knowledge and that there is no wisdom without your grace. Your response, we give you thanks, O Lord. Lord, we thank you for the graduating students, for the time that they have spent in this institution, for the knowledge that they were able to acquire, for the fellowship that they have exchanged with one another, for the discipline that they have learned here, and above all, for realizing your presence in this campus. Your response, we give you thanks, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the founders of this great institution, for their desire to empower the girl child with knowledge and education. Your response, we give you thanks, thanks. O oh Lord. Almighty God, we pray that your almighty hand be upon those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to discern what is right, good and just, to use their gifts wisely and empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope and great love, guided by your light so that they may use their talents for your glory. Your response, Lord, Lord hear your, our prayer. prayer. We pray that you will give them direction, purpose, and perseverance as they enter the next phase of their lives. Give them clearness of mind to move forward into the plans and purposes that they have for them. May these young people gain wisdom from you and have discernment for proper behavior. Your response, Lord. Hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the parents who have provided all their support that they wanted in their lives. We pray for the principal of this institution, the teaching and the non-teaching staff who have been the source and strength for these students who have craft cared 
crafted and challenged them along with academic journey. We also pray for the Board of Management for their contribution towards the development of this institution. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray the, for these graduating students as they prepare for the board examination, quiet in their hearts, direct their thoughts, and focus their minds, grant them good health, peace of mind, and guide their path so that they can face the examination as a challenge. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these blessings in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for standing in the gap and pleading to the Almighty on behalf of our valedictorians. Students, please be seated. We now move on into the relinquishment of the school flag. The union members of the student council of both the school and the pre-university are harnessed to expose the challenges of the future along with the joys of school life. The office bearers for the year 2023 to 2024 will officially lay down their office today. I kindly request our principal ma'am to step onto the stage. I now call the school captain, Evangeline Slesser, your hard-working, committed, and altruistic student known for her willingness to help one and all at all times. I also call upon Tanya, the president of the pre-university, a student known for her academic excellence, who is a laconic, committed, and a focused person. The mantle of responsibility is handed over to Annie Monica, a diligent and obedient student who will take over as the president of pre-university for the year 2024 to 2025. the leadership of the school student council 
will be taken over by Pamela John, an ever vigilant student who excels in studies as well as athletics. Thank you, ma'am. On behalf of the principal, staff and students, we congratulate the office bearers on your remarkable achievements as the student body. We wish you the very best on this remarkable journey towards the horizon and may success be always your reward. Life is a candle and we burn to illuminate the path for others. To reflect God's light means doing your best to live each day on purpose and in a way pleasing to God. This illuminating light will now be lit ablaze by our moderator's commissary, Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Borgai, and Mrs. Nyanamani Franklin, Principal Goodwill Girls High School and Pre-University College will lead us in the candle lighting ceremony. Now, we are moving into the most solemn part of the program. So students, hold your candles and stand for this important ceremony. I request the class teachers of Standard 10 and pre-university to take their positions. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. He said, You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. This candle symbolizes the light we receive from God. We invite the school living pre-university and standard 10th to light their own individual lives from this light and then pass on to their, their light to others to spread the light of truth and love in the dark world. As the candles are being lit, the choir will render to us a beautiful melody like a candle flame. Thank you, Bishop, for passing on the light of goodwill heritage, which will shine like a beacon.
Thank you, teachers, for doing the honors. Embrace the challenges ahead, for they will shape your character and fortitude. May the oath you take ignite the spark within you, be the stepping stone towards your greatest achievements and chase your wildest dream. We now have a oath-taking ceremony that underscores our commitment to the principles and ideals we hold dear as part of this prestigious institution. We call upon our principal to administer the oath. Oath. <clears throat> On my valedictory day today, February 9, 2024, as I stand upon the threshold of my life, I promise to honor a school motto, rise, learn, serve and be steadfast. I will carry the good values I have learned in this institution. I promise to spread the flame of knowledge and wisdom that I have received here. I promise to endeavor, encourage, empower, elevate, enrich and exalt those younger than me and support those who are older than me. I shall strive hard in my life to love, to share and to serve my fellow beings, may my life be worthy as a citizen of God's kingdom. So help me Lord. Thank you ma'am. Dear students, your education in this institution has empowered you with all that you need. You owe it to us now to promise that you would follow and use them to make this world a better place. The outgoing students will now pledge their hearts and minds to God's glory by singing the pledge song.
Students continue standing. I am happy because I am grateful. I choose to be grateful that gratitude allows me to be happy, said Will Arnett. Being grateful helps us feel positive emotions, relive happy memories and improves our overall well-being. I call upon Ume Tasmiya, Vice President of Pre-University, to express her words of gratitude on our behalf. The best and beautiful things in the world cannot be felt and touched. It can only be felt by heart. Gratitude is one such prayer. Today, I stand before you on behalf of the entire institution of the graduates of the batch 2023-24. to With all my pride, it's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks. I am filled with thankfulness to God for being with us and this institution and guiding us in every step throughout 169 years. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards our chief guest, M.S. Sham Sundar. In spite of his busy schedule, he is here to grace us with his blessings. I extend my humble thanks to the presiding dignitary, M.S. Right Reverend Dr. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards our dignitary, Right Reverend Martin C. Borgai, Right Reverend Martin C. Borgai, for gracing this occasion. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards P.K. Samuel and Mrs. Esther Prasanna for gracing this occasion. I extend my humble thanks to the officers of diocese for gracing this occasion. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards the boards of directors who have been supporting us and encouraging us. I extend my thanks towards the executive committee members and the education committee members for being with us here today. I thank all, the, all, all our parents for being with us today. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards the retired teachers for being with us today. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards all the galaxy of intellectuals. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I've never seen these many people seated all at once. I forgot everything. I'm sorry, guys. I extend my heartfelt gratitude towards everyone seated out here. Out of everyone here today, I believe that we, the 2024 graduates, deserves the biggest thank you. Our journey in this institution is no less than a roller coaster ride. In spite of all ups and downs, we are here today, waving ourselves a final goodbye. You know what? We all are living today. But when we live, let's promise ourselves that we will be better human in life. I know it's difficult. Being a student myself is aware that we are at our lowest. All these beautiful smiles is the weeping child behind who does not want to leave this campus this early. This is it, girls. It is the end of an era. It is the end of we living this campus. It is the end of we sharing our samosas. It is the end of we leaders calling you out for assembly. It is the end of we being called as the good villains. But you know what the best part is? We are going to enter in the new chapter of our lives. So always remember 
that we good villains are never thought to give up. We strive, thrive and always come back stronger. You are going to make it. No matter what it looks like right now, God is going to send you the blessings and positive changes your way. So hold on, be strong and don't you are not late, you are not early, you are on time. Thus, I shall take your leave. This is Umeh Tasmiya, the Vice President of Pre-University, signing off. Thank you. Praying at all times in the spirit, with all prayer and supplication, to that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Ephesians 6.18 May this prayer not just be words that we listen to, but let them resonate within each one of us, giving us peace, strength and courage to handle what lies ahead. I now call upon our moderator's commissary, the Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Borgai, to step forward and close in prayer and pronounce the benediction. And I request everyone to rise to your feet for the benediction. Dear people of God, just before I could uh, pray, I have seen many Bhaijans and Apas here. I am so happy. I am really so happy. Last time when I was speaking in the same place, I have invited you and I have prayed for you. And today God has blessed you, brought you into this place so that you would be a channel also to help, to guide. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, respected Chief Guest Sir. It was an amazing and wonderful way that you have blessed our children. And I was thinking of women empowerment. These many children have been departing from this place. They have been trained, equipped, going to be released for the greater task in their life. Where most of our faculties and the teachers and all the presbyters along with our bishop, they have imparted in their future life the wonderful the wisdom and the guidance through the prayer. Really appreciate. God bless everyone. And in the days to come, dear children, how many of you are here? Total. Together. 138. Both the sides. 320 students. All together, 320 students. 320 students. students. 320 students. They have been releasing from this place with wisdom and the knowledge. <clears throat> Christ is the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God. And dear students, dear children, today I would like to just say one word. The prayer life in your life, in your day-to-day -day life, when you pray, Ask God, you will receive what you have, the desire in the future. Pray without ceasing. God has a plan. God has a purpose. And He will fulfill those things, right time for the right cause, so that you are going to be a great and mighty weapons for our country. So God bless everyone. And without the Spirit of God, you cannot accomplish anything. Pray, ask God. And God will help you through His Spirit. Without the Spirit, we cannot accomplish anything. Remember, in your lifetime. 
So God bless you all. Thank you. I'll just pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for your presence in our midst throughout this wonderful graduating ceremony. Thank you, Father, for 300 plus students they have been graduated today. They have been trained so well through the faculties in this place imparted with the wonderful wisdom and the knowledge equipped and in your presence they have been releasing today from this place for the greater achievement, greater task. Father, we pray and we ask you, God, let thy mighty multitude of the blessings and anointing of God to rest upon every one of them. So that in every accomplishment in their future life, they would be led by your spirit, anointed by your spirit, O oh God. Ask my child, ask whatever you want, I will do it. This is your word. So we ask you, God, in heaven this evening, <clears throat> we ask you, God, help this wonderful children <clears throat> as they go out from this place. They have been stepping out into a challenged world. Help them, oh God. In every cross junction, we ask you, God, in heaven, <clears throat> let your spirit rain upon them. So that they would be depending totally upon your spirit. And the guidance of your spirit, they would fulfill every plans that you have for them. In the life of our country. Father, we pray, empower them so well. So that in the days to come, as they are going to be positioning into a key position. Let the name of the living God be glorified through them in all the accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you also God in heaven for your awesome presence throughout this ceremony. Thank you for the wonderful words that you have spoken through and also through Bishop. Let all of them impart in the hearts of the children so that right time for the right cause they could able to utilize and Father, stand in the gap and bless and help the needy one through their life. Thank you. Commit once again, every one of us into hands. Thank you for every one of the parents here that they could able to support under every circumstances in the life of these wonderful children. Bless them, be with them, and care for them. Thank you, Father. Commit once again, all of us into you leaders and guides. We depart from this place. We ask your presence to rest within us all the time throughout. Thank you, Father. We thank you and we praise you. We give all the glory. We ask all these things in the name of Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with each and every one of us. Especially graduated students. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you so much. Let's remain standing as the dignitaries leave. Dear graduating Goodwillian. Success and excellence has defined our alma mater. At Goodwills, you students are upright. It's time to bid adieu to yet another incredible batch. As Mary Angelo has aptly said, the horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change. So go confidently into a new dawn of sunrise beyond your horizon to strive for academic and social excellence. Congratulations once again. We hope you enjoyed this beautiful service. Thank you.
students just pass on your momentos quickly pass on Hold your momentos in one hand and the candle in the other. Once you have received it, please be seated. Please be seated. Once you receive it, please be seated. You can move. Raise your mementos and your candles. Keep your candles on and raise it up. Charlie man. Charlie man. Congratulations and God bless you all.